When trying to assess your squat technique, recording a video is an easy and effective way to do so. In order to make a good assessment, your video needs to gather good information. To get the most useful information, I recommend you use a side view. Make sure that the foot is in the center. It's always safer to film from a shorter height than a taller height. Personally, I self-record with the camera at ground level. Here, we can see foot position, shin angle, knee translation, hip translation, torso position, elbow position, depth, and bar position. This is a still image, but during a video, you can view the timing of knee and hip translation as well as the path of the bar movement. As you can see, there's a lot of good information to use here. A front or back side view can give us some more information that we can't get from the side view, such as hand and elbow width, side to side torso movement, and side to side knee movement. Luckily, this isn't a big problem for most people, and often you the lifter can tell if your shoulder position feels off or if your knee moves a lot towards the middle. But you would use a front or back side view if you feel this is needed information. The diagonal view isn't that definitive when getting information, so it's probably not the best angle to film when you're trying to assess your technique. I would then recommend you use the low side view with the foot in the center as your go-to for a video assessment. You will get the most usable information from this view. If you do decide you need or want to see if there's any side to side movement or to see hand and elbow width, you would then add a front or back side view.